you know, they gave us hope that um, they are, you know, on top of, you know, on, in a case that they are working hard. An eye-opening meeting today between the loved ones of missing Chula Vista mom, Maya Miliete, and detectives with the Chula Vista Police Department. Maya has been missing now for more than four months. Today's sit-down session came a day before police are expected to give an update on the case. Our Phil Blower just spoke with Maya's sister and is here with what she had to say. Well, Kathleen, tonight the word from Maya's loved ones is relief. They were thrilled to be inside Chula Vista Police Department headquarters this morning to get a very detailed briefing. Maya's sister, Maricris, says they left the building with renewed confidence that they will get justice for Maya. My heart kind of lifted, you know, a, a little bit that we do have hope. That's how the sister of missing Chula Vista mom, Maya Milete, felt after a two hour face to face meeting with detectives who are investigating the four and a half month old case. They they have a lot of progress that they have done. Uh, they laid out on, on the table and what um, they plan to do. And um, so we were very you know, as a family, um, very happy. She says that the family had been frustrated for months, saying they were basically kept in the dark and not getting updates they so desperately wanted to hear. But that has all changed now. With this meeting, it actually opened our line of communication with them. It was a very, again, it was a very productive meeting, um, great meeting actually. So, um, and I know, you know, their investigation is um, moving forwards. Mary Chris admits there were many details they heard that can't be made public regarding search warrants served at the home and the gun restraining order that was issued to Miles' husband, Larry. However, during the meeting with detectives. There was a wow moment that, oh my God, they are like, you know, like, oh my, God, you know, we are relieved that, oh my God, we, they are really working on it and that, you know, they're, they're really deep into the investigation. She also says the family has hired a lawyer to get visitation rights to Maya's three kids for Maya's parents. It's more than four months. We haven't seen the kids and we used to be together almost every other weekend and not seeing them at all. You know, it, it is very heartbreaking for for the family. Mary Chris says she's still praying her sister is still alive and well, and one day hoping that she'll be able to hug her and hold her once again, and this nightmare of not knowing will be over. Until we find her, you know, we're not stopping. I'm still asking the public help, the community, to please continue their help and support, you know, and um, we will not stop until we bring her home. Americus also says if there's any hope her sister is out there, the family will welcome her back with open hearts and open arms and will work together to move forward. Once again, Chula Vista Police will be holding a briefing tomorrow, and of course, we will be there. Kathleen. Phil, thank you.